Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mujisela Obazwaye and you're watching Muji in Touch. Today I will be talking about body type. Using myself as an example, I will be showing you how to measure your own body type. But before I start, I believe very much that there's nothing like a perfect body type or perfect body shape. All I believe in is number one, being confident with your body and number two, dress your body type. Lastly, to just be you. So there are four types of body type. Number one body type is the hourglass. I would measure myself as I go on in the video because I belong to that category. And by the way, I'm five feet 11 tall and I'm a size eight. So irrespective of what size you are, whether size 8 or size 28, if you are hourglass, you are hourglass. Number two type of body type is the apple. The apple looks like this. It is rounded. Number three type of body type is the pear. The pear looks like this, slimmer on the top, bigger on the bottom. And lastly, number four type of body type is the ruler, which looks like this. So going on to the measurement, using myself, like I said earlier on, I have my measuring tape, and I'm going to measure the distance between my shoulder from here to there, my sh uh, from shoulder to shoulder, like this. So the distance between my shoulders I have 16 inches and straight down to my waist I have from there to there I have 10 inches and finally to my hips I'm measuring the wider part of my hip from there to there so which is 16 automatically that makes me an hourglass so onto the pear-shaped people. Like I said earlier on, the pear looks like this, slimmer on the top. So basically, if you measure the distance from your shoulder to the other shoulder, you will be slimmer on the top and your hip measurement will be wider, just like the pear. So you have a slimmer top and a wider shoulder. Usually the paired people would have flatter tummy and slimmer waist. So you need to focus on wearing things that would help you structure your shoulder to make it proportional to your hip. So thirdly to the apple shaped people, the apple looks like this, it's rounded. So if you take the measurement of your shoulders, your shoulder would normally be wider it will be well defined, beautifully broad, and your lower part, which is your hip, will be slimmer. In most cases, apple wouldn't have flatter tummy, so what you want to focus on is wear clothes that would not give definition to the hip because it's slimmer, you're looking to wear a loose kind of clothing on the bottom side, and look for clothing that will help you cinch the waist also to add definition to the waist. So lastly to the ruler which looks like this. You are tall and the measurement between your shoulders from one shoulder to another will be the same measurement with your hips. So your shoulder measures the same as your hip. So as a ruler person you are looking for clothes also that will help you cinch your waist to make you more feminine and to make you more beautiful. So that's all I have to say about bodies and body type. Like I said earlier on, there's nothing as such as a perfect body. What matters is being confident and also dressing your body type. And if you can't take your own measurement by yourself, you can get people to make, help you do that. So it's so easy. Um, let me know if you need me to talk on any other thing 
but let me quickly um, chip in that on my next episode I will be um, helping teaching you how to measure your bra size so thank you 